Greetings, winners. I'm Andy, and I'm George, and this is Goose and welcome back to the Windmill Flow Courses. So, if you want to know what the devil's churn is, check out my interview with a band. I also know what the devil's churn is. You do? Because you watched my interview with a band. No, because I googled it. Before your interview with a band. I like how I started this reaction with a flex in the first eight seconds. Anyway, these are the world's greatest posers. Detail. Will they pay, will they, bleh, will they play black metal, but there's no Satan, no burning churches, and no corpse paint? And they sound good. And they sound very good. So they're the world's greatest posers. I'm into these posers. Right, so uh, we've heard the song because we've heard the full album. Because how can you have Winter C release music and not listen to it, right? Yes. Um, but they put out a video for it, so we're going to do the thing. I remember there's some drum parts in this one. Uh-huh. Yes. That I'm not ready for even of, and though I know they're coming. Uh-huh. Are you ready? No. That sound effect is in spore. Yeah! 
You know how I usually complain about fade outs? Yes. This is the polar opposite of that. Yes. This is how every fade out song should end. This is how, this is how every fade out song should end where there's a song that fades out because the artist didn't know how to end it. Yes. Just stop playing. This is, you know what this feels like? This is being like in a supercar 200 miles an hour flat out. And, and then you run into the engine. No, the engine just dies and it's like. Because I still feel like I'm in speed, okay? My heart's no, still no, no. pounding. Everything that would be if you let the last chord ring and then the car just keeps going without the engine for a while. No, no, that's, that would, if you let the last chord ring, that would just be like letting off the gas. But the engine's still running because you can hear it, right? But if the engine just dies, the car still has the inertia and it keeps going and that's just how you feel when a song ends so abruptly. Oh! So you're the car. Yes, I'm a Koenigsegg. He's not a Koenigsegg. What am I? I don't know, like a blood Aniva or something. Okay, no, oh, never mind. Wow! I think I saw on the Vintersy fan community mm -hmm. that the vampire chick mm -hmm. is the same actress as the girl that gets poisoned in old ones. Huh. Which I can't tell because A, my facial recognition is shit, and B, there's too much makeup. And C, there weren't that many teeth in the other one. Yeah. Also, like, I'm, I don't... I don't think this is a vampire reference. I don't know what it is, but I've just been binging The Walking Dead lately, so I can I can only tell you what it got me thinking about. <laughs> dude's gonna turn! Dude's gonna turn? Yes. I don't know if the dude's gonna turn, but here's what I thought about. He's in the nature. He's exploring. It's beautiful. And then the dangerous part of nature calls out to him. That's like somebody dying on the mountain because they won't watch their step. That's how I interpret the video, because it's like so much of their music is inspired by the raw, beautiful, but very dangerous nature of the area they're in. Oregon. And it's kind of like that. Everything you're saying makes a lot of sense. Yes. But I'll still go for The Walking Dead. And also, the other thing I want to say about The Walking Dead is most shows that are like thriller or horror or scary or anything like that build suspense with music and with dark scenes and whatever and The Walking Dead doesn't need to do that because the whole situation that described is, that's described is so sinister that they just show you the things in plain daylight and everything's scary anyway and it's the same when these guys play okay I was annoyed that you were talking about The Walking Dead until you made that connection yes. that's exactly how it is all their videos are bright full on daylight whatever they still scare the living piss out of you yes um, and they don't even need rot We've got rot. We need a lot of Jeremy worship. Because yes. wow. His blast beats sound and look cool. Yes. His, he, he blasts as well as a Avian looks. And Avian screams as well as well, Carl makes videos. And Carl plays as well as Jorma looks like a Viking. And Jorma does solos as well as Riley is a band CEO. I thought you were going to say, yes, Riley is big. And Riley is as big as Jeremy's blast beats. <laughs> Went full circle. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why this band works. They, they just go full circle. They do one thing as well as the next person does another thing. And then he just loop. Because blast beats. But not just blast beats, like the articulation. Because you can, you can very easily just make blast beats sound, right? Yeah. And yeah. incoherent. Black metal musicians know that. You know, yeah. the true ones. And I really like that thing you pointed out where he was doing, like, alternating. You realize why he was doing that, right? It, um, I don't know. He was alternating the symbols, one's here, one's here. Yeah. So he was keeping his position like, I'm blasting with this hand when I need that symbol, and then I'm blasting with this hand to go to that symbol, so he doesn't have to cross. I think the only other person I've seen do that is Dan Preslin from Neobli Viscaris. Might be formerly from Neobli Viscaris. Uh, and... At first, I thought he, mu he must be doing that because he needs to give his hands a break because of endurance. But then later in the video, I just saw him just going at it on the cymbal and t -t 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 constantly on the snare. So, nah, this dude's a machine. Yes. He's like the machine that Born of Osiris play sing about in their song, Machine. He's that mechanical. He's more mechanical than Mushuga. You know, Born of Osiris are kind of talking about a societal system or something, right? I have no idea that what they're talking about. It sounds like a machine. Yeah. So, that's because they're machines too. Um, Avian. The screams. She's like... D 
deathcore singer depth and power and black metal singer catharsis. Yes. And then the and roses and horns. The roses and horns were really cool because they're like her vocals. Because it's like ethereal and pretty but kind of evil and you don't want to be poked by it. Yeah, yeah, like you, you see the roses during that clean part and then you start noticing the horns when she starts screaming again. Yes. And I love her windmill game. She knows the yeah, windmill. I they appreciate that at the windmill. I think this is probably the most active avian video we've gotten so far. Yeah, I want more, wi- I want more avian windmills. Mm-hmm. Do that. Yes. And, uh, solo, again, it strikes me what a skill, um, Dorma has at like, Building his solos around themes. It's like, it's like repetitive section and then repetitive section and then repetitive section and then it just changed together. But everything he does, you get to hear it a couple of times, right? It yeah. sticks with you. He, ma- he makes his playing so memorable in that way. It's great. And Riley's big. Yes. I, I feel like, I feel like I always, I feel like I always just talk about everyone in the band and praise them. And then I feel like I should say something about Riley and like, he's big. Here's Riley's skill. They ended up sounded this good because they wanted to sound as big as he is. <laughs> You're not making a g- good case for yourself. No, I know. I know that Riley is the band CEO. He's like the jack of all trades and master of all. Because I've been told that when you say jack of all trades, the master of none is implicit. It's not when I say it. You know, I tend to assume he's also the CEO because he's big. I mean, imagine going and telling you, you're no longer CEO, it's me. And he goes, care to say that again? I wouldn't see you. And then you're like, then you're like dead. He's like, nah, Riley Riley seems kind of harmless. He's a big teddy bear. He could be harmful if he wanted to. You know, everyone has a breaking point. Riley is big and intimidating, but I'm pretty sure Avian is the dangerous one in this band. Oh, yeah, totally. And Jeremy. Yeah, yeah. Like, like Avian is the, is the vampire person uh, uh, playing a flute luring you in and then Jeremy is the person growing teeth and biting into your neck. Th- those components of the video are those two band members. And I'm also going to say this, whenever there's something vampire-like where one mythical being is biting into someone's neck, the other person just sits there. I don't get that. Well, you know, it's like in The Walking Dead, you got bit once, you know, you're done. Vampires turn too. Hmm. They don't rot and sound like, you know, that. Okay, wow. I do not regret doing this one bit. Me neither. It's a spectacular video. Great lighting, great look, great aesthetics. Um, it's a very good song. That main riff, the evil. Wow. And how the clean is coming. I, I'm just, it's, I'm just gonna have so many more thoughts storm at me. You know, sometimes when we react, I have to struggle to bring thoughts to mind to uh, talk about the video afterwards. I have the opposite problem with Winter. See, the video's too long. So are we done here? No. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we'd greatly appreciate the likes and shares. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. With bells off. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay. And we'd love to see you back at the windmill very soon. Of course, he's out.